What's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to install this Tesla OEM home link adapter uh, for your Tesla Model Y or even your Tesla Model 3. This model should work in both of the Teslas. As you know, all the new Teslas being made do not include home link and they want you to subscribe to MyQ, which costs $45 a year. So the model number for this is 1114984-00-B and also you're going to need to purchase these screws. They're a 25 millimeter length with a six millimeter screw thickness. I just got these at my local Lowe's. You only need one of them. So here's the 2024 Model Y we're going to be installing this on. The first thing you're going to do is take off this vent cover. It just pops right out. Just gently release all these little plastic pins and put this to the side. And here's one of the pins you have to remove. It's now a plastic pin. Some models will have a metal screw. And also there are four bolts to it front and under my floor mat another two on the left and the right so four there and then again one plastic screw up front which I'm gonna remove my with my little tool here there it goes <clears throat> and now I'm just gonna unscrew these four bolts here now before you lift out the tub you want to remove this plastic cover here it just pops out using your fingers and pull out this wire or unclip it I should say and now the whole frunk bucket just pulls right out super easy and just set this to the side and here's the 2024 Model Y interior and you'll notice there is the pre-installed or pre-wired connector right there with some tape straight from Tesla. You just got to take this tape off and there's your plug for the home link ready to go. And the top just comes off this little plastic cap. You can just throw that away. And that little mounting bracket where I'm pointing to is where the home link will be installed. And I'm just going to run this wire here through the front and set that to the side for now. You can grab your home link with the mounting bracket. I decided to disconnect the mounting bracket from the home link for an easier installation. I'm going to be honest guys, these, this is the hardest part of the install is putting this bracket on the um, front part of the bumper. I've seen a lot of people install this up front. Um, it may work, it may not. Um, I'm assuming it has to go up front, obviously, because the home link gets a better signal through the front bumper. And there is a couple little grooves in that bracket that should fit those pre-drilled holes. However, it does not really snap into well, it just kind of barely holds on. And you can see I'm trying to take the screw and you have to put the screw through the front area, which is extremely difficult, especially if you have larger hands. And as you can imagine, I'm leaning over the bumper here and it's very strenuous work. I also put a t-shirt there to prevent the screw from dropping down as it did one time for me. So I did end up putting a t-shirt down there. And you can see I'm slowly turning the screw in by hand with the bracket kind of bouncing all over the place until I have enough um, screw into the hole. But again, this probably took me at least at least 20 30 minutes for me to get that screw into that hole and you can see I'm still kind of struggling to keep turning it with my fingers here once you have the screw far enough through and you can't really tighten it anymore I just used my um, ratchet set here with my hexagon um, adapter as this is what the screw was it was a hex screw and you just have to Take your time again, turning the screw into place slowly until it's somewhat tight. I did not tighten it all the way as I didn't want to crack the plastic bracket. So again, just take your time tightening this into place until you feel it is, I guess, snug if you will.
But again, this is the correct way. The bracket has to go up front. And again, if, if you really can't get this screw in, I'm sure if you put it up front, it would probably still be fine. I just want to install it the correct way per the, the Tesla instruction manual. And now we just have to connect the home link adapter. It's pretty simple. It only goes in one way. Just push it all the way on and then push in that red tab to make sure it's locked in place. And now we're just going to slide it on the bracket, making sure it's the right way. And you should hear it eventually click into place once you have it fully secured. I'm just going to focus the camera here. There we go. And there we go. And there, that's what it should look like when it's fully installed. Again, the hardest part is that bracket. Everything else is super easy. Once you get into the car, you're going to hit the car icon on the bottom left, and then we're going to go down to the software and hold down Model Y or Model 3, whichever car you're starting it in, and then type in service for the passcode, and we're going to hit enter. You'll see these red lines around the screen. Then we're going to go to low voltage, and then we're going to hit home link. And you can see home link retrofit, we're going to hit that button, we're going to hit the run. And now we're going to have to run the key, hold the park button, plus the bra or sorry, the blinker, put in your passcode if you have one, and it's going to unlock. And then we hit the home link retrofit, it's going to run its tests and install it. And you'll hit this green successful icon, and I was going to hit return, but the screen automatically went to a restart mode. And it actually restarts itself a couple of times with this uh, 2024 Model Y. I didn't really have to touch anything. It may be different for you. Um, it looks like mine ran like two or three times restarting. And then it should go back to the software, uh, service mode rather, and then you're going to go back to the home link and you'll see once you have it successfully installed, it'll show home link active with the green. And we're going to do a test home link and run it to make sure it works. You'll see routine passed. And we're going to close out and we're going to hold out of the exit service mode. And you'll notice if you hit the garage thing, it still says subscribe to my queue, so you don't see the home link there yet. So you have to exit the car, close the door, make sure the screen turns off. You might have to wait 10 some seconds. I had to wait for the fans to completely turn off. And then I got back inside the car. And then went to the same icon where you want to open the garage up. And there it is, create home link. So we successfully added this. Um, again, the hardest part was that bracket, guys. And now we're gonna put the bucket back into place. But remember, we have that cord in the front for the emergency um, hood latch button. Pull that through, making sure that's in there. There we go. Reconnect the cover plate. And then that should snap back into place. And then I took my four screws and hand spun them in place first to avoid stripping. And then obviously just screw them back into place, not to over tighten them. And of course the last piece is that plastic pin that goes through the top and just snaps back in. Finally we put the vent cover back in place and that will snap back in. I made sure that um, fire logo was sticking outright in case of emergency to cut that line. I did stick that back out. But that's it for the home link install, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. 
If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll have the links below this video should you want to purchase this home link instead of going through Tesla.